guys, it's Kaylee. I am here today with a thrift haul. It has been so long since I've done a thrift haul that I was starting to feel like if I didn't do a thrift haul soon, you guys are going to forget that I even sold clothing on this channel. So. <laughs> so we are sourcing 140 items a week. My like ideal goal is to share all 140 items with you every single week. Obviously, I haven't been able to do that, but I do have a small collection of one thrift store that I went to recently where we got some really good items. Now, this thrift haul has a good mix of men's and women's clothing, and I think you'll really enjoy some of the brands that we found. Before we dive into today's video, I wanted to thank Dossier once again for partnering with my videos. You guys know every month I like to try two new fragrances, and I got some good ones. This kind of goes along with today's thrift haul because, like I said, there's a good mix of men's and women's, and I've got men's and women's today. These are the two I tried out this last month, but more about that in a minute. Dacia is an online fragrance company that takes inspiration from luxury perfumes and colognes. They recreate the scents, but at a much more affordable cost. One thing I love about Dacia is that they send you both a tester and a full-size product. Then you can use the tester to determine if you want to keep the full size. And if you don't, you just send the full size back for a refund. They come in really nice packaging and although it's affordable, it feels expensive. This is a great way to treat yourself and others without breaking the bank. This month I tried Floral Violet, which is inspired by Marc Jacobs' Daisy. This is a perfect, sweet, summery scent that I'll be wearing all summer long. And it really does smell like Marc Jacobs' Daisy. I've tried that one too, and I honestly cannot tell the difference. Lately I have been really enjoying going to the men's category on Dossier, looking through some of their fragrances and trying a couple of their men's fragrances out, either so I can get a good idea of what to give during gift giving season, or even just to try them with my women's fragrances, do a little mix and match combination and see what works for me. I think that's the fun of fragrances is doing a little bit of mix and match and just trying new things out. You can create a new smell that way by just having only two. So this one is Woody Ginger and it's inspired by Tom Ford for Men. I went with a classic one, one that I think a lot of people know about and love and it smells really good. This is definitely one that I would give for gift giving and just personally, I like that woody smell. You can take their online quiz to help you find your next scent. Use my exclusive link and coupon code down below, Kaylee Elaine 10 to get yours today. You can use this along with their 20% off welcome offer when you sign up to their website for your first time and add that 10% off coupon code that's down in the description for up to 30% off. Now let's dive back into the video. All right, so unlike most thrift hauls, I'm gonna start with some men's items. I have, again, quite, quite a good mix of men's and women's. We have been sourcing a lot in the men's department. This is a Tommy Bahama. If you guys haven't already heard me say, the men's Tommy Bahama silk shirts do extremely well for us every year, and this year's no exception. They've already started selling. By the way, I don't know who I think I am or what's going on here, but I've got a knotted up t-shirt underneath this cinch sweatshirt, and it just, it looks weird, okay? Bear with me. I sell fashion. I did not claim to be fashionable. So this is a men's silk button-up Tommy Bahama shirt. This one's really cool. I'm probably going to price this one up. This one has some interesting fish on it. And it's in really great condition. This one is also a larger size, extra large. We paid $3.99 for this. I'm probably going to price this for somewhere between $35 and $40, I think. Next up is another men's Tommy Bahama silk shirt. This is also a size extra large, and this one is still pretty cool. Not as cool as the fish, I don't think. This one needs a good steam, but this is a kind of like leafy, florally, nice different shades of blue silk shirt. Again, these do really well. The larger the sizes that you have definitely helps to up the value. And then also the different prints. If you have something more like multicolor or unique, you can usually ask for a little bit more for these. The other brand I like selling in silk shirts um, on a regular basis is Nat Nast. So both Tommy Bahama and Nat Nast do really well. So keep your eye out for those. Uh, this one I paid $2.99 for. Next up are some women's tops. This is the brand Knox Rose. This is a size XXL. 
Now normally I do not pick up Noxers at a regular thrift store unless it's like half off, but in this case this is a thrift store that we usually see what I can only explain as a grand canyon of prices. There are prices that are on things like, I don't know, like American Eagle jeans for like $20. Like, I don't know what you're thinking. And then they price things like, I don't know, like a pair of Lululemon leggings for like $2.99. So there's a great divide between the prices. And even though they do price some stuff up really, really high, there's other times that things just fall through the cracks. And so we do like going there. And typically we can stock up on some good bread and butter stuff because there are certain brands that they don't price up very high. This is one of those brands. So Knox Rose, I only paid $2.99 for this. It is a larger size and it's a really nice bohemian sleeveless embroidered top. We'll probably turn this into 20 bucks. Their athletic wear section, for some reason, almost everything's priced for $2.99. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not upset with it. This is only $2.99. I even think it might've been a half off color. And this is a Gymshark. This is the Gymshark logo. Women's Gymshark kind of like seamless compression tank top. I would say this is probably like a size large, probably. I did not see the sizing on the inside, but larger size, it's got some cutout details, compression, very trendy and has the spell out. Next up, this is a men's hoodie. This is the newer label Nike tags. I always look for these, size large, great size. This is kind of that funnel neck kind of hoodie. And men's Nike hoodies do really well for us. Like, especially in the neutral colors I found, do really well. So this is just a plain black hoodie. There's probably an exact style name for this, which I'll look up the numbers on the inside and figure it out. But Typically we can sell them for about $30 and that's probably what I'll price this one up for unless it's like a specific style and that's why we gotta look up that style name. Paid $5.99 for this. Here's that newer label again. I believe this is also men's because it's a size small and it's pretty large. This was $4.99. It is a black zip up hoodie. Again, these neutral colors do really well for us. I'll probably sell this for about 30 as well. This is something I got just for style. It's a little vintage dress. These cuts of vintage dresses do really well for me. And there is a little bit of like a keyhole, keyhole moment here. Some nice floral detail with like a houndstooth plaid. A lot of great keywords going for it. I'll probably put like 90s in the title. This is the brand Jody Michaels. No idea, but definitely a cool vintage dress. This is a size three, so it's a bit of a junior's. Um, I only paid $3.99 for it. I'll probably list it for between 25 and 30. I don't know what I don't understand. This was $5.99, but it's a new with tags Bowden dress. Bowden performs really well for us. This is also a size 10, so it's a nice size. And it has all of the information here for me, which is really nice. So I'm not sure exactly what we'll sell this for. I have to get it uh, steamed, photographed, look up the style name, but this is a midi length dress. So that should help to increase the value. And hopefully this nice like red and blue print pattern will do really good right before 4th of July. So we wanna get this listed fast. Just off the top of my head, like we usually sell Bowden dresses for between $30 and $50 pre-owned. So I'm hoping for at least $50 for this one. It has pockets, ladies. If you're interested, most Bowden dresses have pockets. But $5.99 for brand new with tags Bowden, I couldn't pass that up. I did come into a small vein of skirts, like midi to maxi length skirts. And I picked up some brands I don't normally pick up but I did comps on them and they were doing pretty good. So I picked them up at a very low cost. Again, this thrift store has a lot of things priced pretty low. And so almost all of these were only a couple bucks, which is why I took the risk. This is a Talbot's size 14 skirt. This is not a midi length, but it's like a knee length. I'll probably use the words modest, spring, summer. Nice, bright, multicolor patterns. These are the kind of colors that I'm looking for during this time of the year to help up the value in factors. Probably sell this one for about 20. 
Same thing with this one. This is a midi length and it's kind of got a tiered peasanty look to it. Some different multicolor. This is also a larger size. It's a size large. This is Kato, but I did some comps on this particular style, the length, the size, and I think I can get 20 bucks out of this. Again, I only paid a couple bucks for each of these skirts and I'm hoping to bring some color into my store and closet. This one is by Derek Hart size medium got this one because of the bright multicolored tie-dye only a couple bucks for this i'll probably sell this for 20 to 25 and then same thing with this this is another kato but this is a size 14 16 probably 20 to 25 these are like a mixed prints with the tiers so i thought that was kind of cool i'll probably put patchwork in the title that seems to be a trendy keyword for stuff like this so all the skirts should sell for about 20 to 25 dollars i'm thinking and next up is a pair of offline by airy leggings this line has a pretty good following these are size large so because of that i was willing to take a risk on them this has a fold over and it does like a boot cut flare really thick material sweatpant heathered blue with pockets haven't done comps on this yet but i picked it up for 3.99 Figured I could at least get 20 to 25 for it. And again, this offline by Aerie seems to do pretty good for us. This I paid up for, I paid $8.99, but it's new with tags, Torrid with skulls. Guys, but Torrid with skulls, I don't know what it is, but that stuff sells for so much. These are a pair of really nice high rise Torrid active leggings, size one. I think that translates to a size 1x. Um, they are a larger size, plus size. And they've got some really nice gold details, some like velvet lacy look back here. Just all around like a lot of great factors. I haven't looked up this exact one. Um, it retailed for $70. I'm thinking I can at least get 40 for them, but we'll see. They might be a more rare pair. In fact, a lot of the times when I find skull on skull print on torrid stuff, it does sell for quite a bit. We paid up a little for these. These are $6.99 and these are Laguna Beach. Now Nikki found these ones. These are a pair of men's jeans, but look at the thick stitching. That's why she took a look at them. Not all of these are created equal, but the ones with the thick stitching do really good and the flat pockets. I think she told me we could probably sell these for um, between 30 and 40. Again, we paid $6.99 for them, but just very trendy has that kind of rock revival look to them. Another pair of awesome men's jeans. These are Polo by Ralph Lauren. We paid $12.99 for these, so $13, but I'll tell you why. There are some really rare pair of Polo Ralph Lauren jeans, and the last ones that I found that were unique like this with, they had plaid, and I sold those for close to $100. These ones have like paisley, like a handkerchief look to them. So I'm, I'm confident I can at least get 50 for them, but I'm gonna look up this exact style. But typically any Polo Ralph Lauren jeans with any kind of unique details do really good. Some of them go for over $100. So keep your eye out for that. I really love picking up this brand in men's jeans and I'll keep you posted on these. These were priced pretty cheap, which is why I got them. And $3.99, they're a pair of true religion jeans. Here's the caveat to these. They're Billy. You can see that they were a size 29 by 33, but somebody cut them off. <laughs> so these were originally a pair of jeans. Oh God, these actually need washed. I can see them right now. I'm gonna take these home and wash them. But um, even with the cutoffs, I looked up like the Billy shorts and they were doing pretty good. I think I can get about $30 for these and four bucks for True Religion, can't beat it. I am gonna have to wash these though. Must be why they were priced so low. And lastly is another pair of men's jeans. These are by the brand BKE. One of our favorite men's brands to sell. These are the Tyler style. Love this style. Larger size, size 36R. And they're in really good condition. Just a modern pair of jeans, thick contrast stitching. This brand just does really well for us. They priced these only at $4.99, so I snatched them. Really great sell through rate on BKE men's jeans. All right, guys, so that's it for today's thrift haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Don't know when I'm gonna come out with another one, but we are putting out a ton of videos. Hopefully I'll get in a rhythm of getting these thrift hauls up. Like I said, we're sourcing 140 items a week. 
really no reason I shouldn't be getting them up. So if you're not already and you would like to be, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that notification bell. It will alert you next time I make a thrift haul. If you guys haven't already and you want to treat yourself, try out Dossier. The link is down below in the description with a coupon code. They have really high quality fragrances. I've partnered with them for a while and I really like them. I would, I, I would continue to purchase them. So much more affordable than the name brand fragrances. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.